Guys, there's only one team left in the Open Cup from the USL Championship, and that is the team that we have to support. This team has gone through so much this year. It is incredible to see that they have come this far. But before we get into it, guys, thank you guys for tuning in to the USL Insight, where we talk about news happening around the USL Championship. And if you're a fan of the USL, please give this video a like because it really helps with the algorithm to get more exposure out there. But with that, why don't we get into it? This past week was a great week of soccer. There was a Copa America, some great teams competing against one another, and there was also the open cup now with the open cup there were three usl championship teams remaining and that was new mexico united indy 11 and sacramento republic now when it comes to the open cup the sacramento republic are a team that you kind of think okay this is going to be success because they were able to go to the final unfortunately they lost but still that was a big testimony to how far the usl championship has come unfortunately this year it didn't pan out that way they were eliminated by the seattle sounders and the seattle sounders they actually brought a team that was very competitive very good it was almost like their a squad not fully there but still they had some key players and i was kind of shocked that the seattle sounders chose that route but i mean i think that tells you that seattle is also taking this league very um seriously but unfortunately like i said they lost sacramento republic lost and, and it sucks to see it sucks because you know you kind of had that idea that okay sacramento is going to be able to come pretty far and they're going to be able to compete and the game it had a little bit of everything they were down two to one and they came in and scored and you think okay here we go game on but unfortunately it didn't Come, that that equalizing goal didn't come and they were eliminated another game that happened was new mexico united and they first lafc and they lost this game three to one now three to one that's kind of heavy because all of the other teams were two to one but still we cannot take anything away from new mexico united because new mexico united has been playing regular season um football excellent i mean new mexico united is a top tier team and their fans always come out they came out to this game. It was awesome to see because you see a, a section full of yellow. And so you knew who they were going for. You knew that this was New Mexico United's fans. And, and that's beautiful. That's what you want to see in these type of games where sh fans show up and, and root for that team. But like I said, they were unable to pull off the victory. Um, they lost to LAFC. And we all know that LAFC, it's a team that has high quality players with great names, the, the name recognition. Um, it's an LA based team. A lot of soccer players want to go to LA. There's no secret about that. And, and so you kind of knew that this this was going to be a very tough um, a opponent. And if there's a team that I would have loved to see compete against LAFC, the ones remaining, I would have honestly chosen New Mexico United because I, I, I really felt like they could have handled it. They could have uh, been neck and neck with them. But like I said, unfortunately, they lost and now they are also eliminated. And that leaves us with the last team, the last club in the USL Championship, and that is Indy 11. Indy 11 versus Atlanta United, and they came out with a victory 2-1. to one. Now, guys, this is huge for Indy 11 because of what has happened what has transpired with this club this this year you know the announcement of a brand new stadium a soccer specific stadium a big stadium in downtown indianapolis you thought okay here we go you know this is exciting news for indy 11 and then a couple weeks later the mayor comes out and says that he wants to bring an mls team to indiana and you think wait wait a sec what is going on here you already have a team you already have indy 11 and and no he wanted to start something brand new he was talking to reps reps of the MLS and you thought oh snap this is going to be another team in the USL championship that gets destroyed because of MLS because of you know Don Garber and his 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 cronies and you think that's it you think in the 11 is no more but then you have uh, um a lot of support a lot of fans coming out and saying no you know we we believe in Indy 11 we want Indy 11 to keep existing and so now there's a go there's a back and forth between the mayor and the owner Indy 11 and then now all of a sudden you have a new investor that comes in and you think what is going on what's going to happen and now then because of that they have a, a, a unbeaten run in the USL championship and and, and so you think, oh my gosh, you know, this is great stuff. And now they're in the Open Cup. They're the last team in the USL Championship to be going this far. It's incredible. This is what, I mean, you cannot write this stuff. This, 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 there has to be a movie about this eventually. And it's like, you know, th this is the beauty of the game. When you have fans come out and you have other uh, people talking about it, other clubs supporting Indy 11 and saying, you know, we want this team to, to still exist. And now you also have the whole drama with the Open Cup and, you know, save the cup and now save Indy. So it, it's incredible. 
incredible to see how people can come together because of sports. And, and it's great. This, this is uh, uh, something that all of the USL fans should be cheering on. We should all be cheering for the for Indy 11. We should all be cheering that they make it to the final. Um, it's going to be tough, of course. I understand that. But still, it, it, it it's something that, that we can all get behind. And I have no doubt. I have no doubt, guys, that it's going to happen where you're going to see a bunch of people supporting the Indy 11. You're going to see when the game happens. It, it, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a record-breaking number of people watching. And I encourage everyone to do so. I encourage everyone to do so. Their next opponent is going to be Sporting Kansas City. Now, there's good news and bad news. It, it, good news is there's no denying, guys, that in MLS, they have a lot better players. You know, just look at look at what's going on. There's there's way more MLS teams than there are. There's only one USL club left, right? So in, that in of, it, of itself tells you that obviously the, the player pool is, is better in the MLS. So they're competing against, in, on paper, better players but there's no way we're writing off Indy 11 there's no way because of what they have been able to accomplish in such a little time or what they have been able to accomplish this season so I hope it's a game where they don't let off the gas I hope it's a game that they take very serious and I know they will and it's exciting to see all USL fans I know all USL fans are going to be watching and that's what we should do as fans as USL fans get behind this club and, and um, so we shall see what happens. We shall see if they are able to advance because if they do, then they would reach the final. And and the good news also is that Sporting Kansas City is in 13th place in the MLS. So in their conference. Um, So that is also good news because, hey, they're not the best team in the MLS. And so without a doubt, I feel like it's going to be a great game to, to see. And, and Indy 11 is already making history because they were able to beat an MLS team. So guys, it's an exciting time of soccer, guys. We just had the Copa America, like I said, and that was there was so much drama going on there. And now we have the Open Cup. And then up next, we have the, the Olympics. And, and I'm excited to watch these young guys um, compete during that in, in the soccer tournament that's happening. So, yeah, it's exciting times, guys. But, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think the Indy 11 is going to be able to advance? Are you keeping up with the Open Cup? Um, Share your thoughts below, guys. It really helps me out. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And with that, I will see you all on the next one.